Hi, I'm Roger Firestein. Thanks for reading Create in a Flash, a leader's recipe for breakthrough innovation. If the book is the recipe, this video is your cooking lesson on selecting the best problem to solve using highlighting. You'll find the highlighting technique on page two of the Clarify the Problem handout. Here's where we're at in the creative problem solving process, clarify the problem, and now we're converging. Here's where we're at in the creative process, we're in clarify, but we're converging, we're selecting the uh, creative questions or the uh, problem statements that Tamara would like to take forward to generate some ideas for. So, Tamara, do you think you have enough problem statements to get you started or creative questions to get you started? Yes, I okay, do. Okay, good. So, I'd like you to select a problem statement or a creative question that best re represents what you want to work on today. And the technique that we're going to use to do this is a technique called highlighting. So, highlighting has three steps. It's, at first, we're going to mark the hits. We'll cluster the hits together into themes, and then we'll restate the cluster as a creative question or a problem statement on which you want to generate a lot of ideas. So the first thing I'd like you to do is just come up here and mark the hits. And the, the definitions of a hit is it reveals a new insight into the situation, it provides a promising direction for you to go, it really nails where you're at, and it feels good in your gut. If you want to take a look also, there's some criteria for that hit right here um, in uh, the cheat sheet here. So Tamara, come on up. To, and you can mark as many as you'd like, put a dot on those uh, creative questions or uh, problem statements that feel good in your gut, that nail it, that provide a new insight, uh, that really reveals a new insight into the situation. You can mark as many as you like. Go. Okay, so I'd like you to take a look at this. I'd like you to take a look at the hits, and I'd like you to cluster the hits that tend to relate to each other. So take a look at the hits, the ones that have the dots on them, put them over here into clusters that relate to each other. Go ahead. So once again, Tamara is clustering the creative questions, problem statements that tend to relate to each other into some themes. And as you get them, just put them on over. So what we're going to do now is we're going to label these clusters. So Tamara, uh, what does this cluster represent to you? But we're going to phrase it with a how to or a how might or in what ways might. So how to leverage live events, how to find other ways to market and what ways might you showcase previous successes? How might we uh, use media to, uh, live to share experience? So what does this represent to you in terms of a creative question or problem statement? Start with, beginning with the words how to, how might or in what ways might. How to create a marketing plan. Mm -hmm. Via social media. Via social media, great. Excellent. Great, okay, good. What does this cluster represent to you? How to know your message, how am I going to get in front of people, how to spread the word, how to market at keynotes, how am I going to improve my brand presence, and how to get testimonials. How to use testimonials as a marketing tool. How to use testimonials as a marketing, marketing tool. tool. Beautiful. How might I create finances? for marketing team that best situated for my company. Okay, so how many create finances for marketing team? Does that yeah. work for you? Okay, good. Yeah. And this one, how to share my craft stands on its own. So, yeah, it does. Okay, so just to recap, what we did first, we marked the hits. These were the uh, challenge statements of creative questions that were on target, that nailed it, uh, that developed a new insight. Tamara then clustered those hits together into themes. And now we've labeled those themes uh, with a creative question or problem statement that identifies what that theme is. And that's the highlighting technique. Uh, so Tamara, I'd like you to select a problem statement or a creative question that you'd like to get some ideas for today. Now I guarantee you we're going to get you 60 to 80 ideas for this. Um, now here's the thing. Um, there might be several problem statements that are important to you. I'd like you to pick the one that's the best definition of the problem or the question that you really want to work on today. 
Because what we find, if we make progress on one of these questions, oftentimes the others become less of an issue. The other thing is we can come back later and work on these other problem statements or these creative questions. Uh, you don't have to be, go back to the very beginning of the process. So take a look at which of these creative questions would you like to get some ideas or some answers for today? Two of them are instantly jumping. Okay, let's talk me. about that, okay? So the first one is how to create a marketing plan via social media. Terrific, and okay. And that um, is moving me forward because I'm getting ready to do some international travel. It doesn't really require me to have a team on. I could do that by myself with my phone. Beautiful. And then how to create um, advertisements based on past engagements. I have some beautiful pictures, testimonials that can instantly be, um, you know, turn into something. But I'm going to go with my first one. Going to go with this one today. I Great am. choice. Okay, good. And like I said, we'll get you 80 to 60 to 80 ideas for solving this. Perfect. Great. Thank you, Tamara. Awesome. You can have a seat. Thank you. Okay, great. In the next video, we're going to give Tamara lots of ideas for solving the problem statement that she selected. <laughs>